Good morning, everyone. Today is Thoughtful Thursday. This is a collaboration put on by Organized with Joy, where we just do something around our homes and just share our thoughts on whatever topic. So today for Thoughtful Thursday, I'm going to be outside. I was planning on doing a lot more outdoor videos for the summer for Tiny Tidy Tuesday, but I just haven't been able to because it's just been so hot. And then with my thumb and my toe, <laughs> I've just been having a hard time getting out there, but I did this for you. So I'll show you. <laughs> First, I'll just show you these seeds and plants that I got. And this is where I'm going to be planting them, right on either side of that tree right there. But first, there's a spot that I've been wanting to get the weeds out of lately, so we're gonna tackle that first. And at the base of it, I have this little planting thing but as you can see it's got it's supposed to only have these and these but it's got all these weeds and grass and stuff so and all around it so I'm gonna get rid of that. started right there there's an airplane going by right now Go around the base of this thing first. I was having an okay thumb day this day. <laughs> Yesterday I did go and get a cortisone shot, so hopefully that will cure my thumb ailments. All the parts in my yard that I already did so far this year, full of weeds again. It's kind of frustrating. I don't really want to complain about it because what's the other option? Winter? <laughs> Guess I'll just keep pulling the weeds out of the same spots. Here's a video for you if you like watching weed pulling. Yeah. And I highly recommend you watch it. It is so satisfying. She takes each root and I mean, she takes each weed and like pulls it out by the root and the roots are so long and satisfying. It's, it's absolutely crazy. Like these, I mean, I guess I'm getting some roots, but man, not like hers. Hers was just crazy. Hers was great. But see, she had these grass ones. Like, see this, this, this one that's mostly grass? Mine didn't come out by it. It came out by a dirt ball. <laughs> no, my husband's mowing the lawn now, so. Some people find that really relaxing, and I'm one of them. I like watching those yard work channels that do yard cleaning for free, and they have all the weed eater and all the machines going and stuff. I like watching those sometimes late at night. <laughs> so, trying to just work my way around this thing. Now this one, see, it's not, it just pulled off. I didn't get the root. Ugh. Darn it. Oh well. See, look at that. I need my little shovel thing. And then I could have got the root. But I just hate dragging a whole bunch of tools and stuff out here. Because then I have to put it all away. <laughs> So, anyway, this, this stuff here is ground cover. So, I'm not going to remove that. I'm just getting some of this 
grass and the clover. Even though the rabbits do eat the clover. There, that was a good root. What is this plant? I know this is a blackberry. <sighs> Way too many of those. I mean, they do taste good and they are good for you. But man, oh man, they take over. I think they would literally take over an entire city. Totally. I missed that one. Had to go back and get it. Man, I don't know if there's mosquitoes out here or something bit me or something's itching, but dang. Do you see any more weeds or is this all just, there's just some clover. And almost back to where I started. I filmed this video before I broke my toe. <laughs> Definitely weeds. There's a mole hole right here. <laughs> my husband's not going to be happy about that. That's not very calming to hear someone complain about how itchy they are. <laughs> anyway. Uh, this yard grows faster than we can keep up with it. <laughs> I mean, a little bit of yard work is fun, you know? As my dad would say, puts hair on your chest. <laughs> All right. Let's get some of this stuff out of here. I just think these little plants are so cute. Little succulents. But not the grass that grows in between them. They're so easy to grow, too. And they're not even really planted. They're like laying on the surface. Like sometimes I'll pull a weed up next to them. Oops. And they, uh, see, look. They just literally get, get picked right up with the weed. Ooh, that was a good one. Yeah. Anyway, let's get all these. These guys that don't belong in here. Those little skinny, teeny, tiny blades of grass are the most annoying things because they're hard to, you gotta grab a hold of them and they're so stupid. Guinea. I planted some of these in with it, but I don't know if I should have done that. Because these like to take over, but I think I'd rather just have these. So, I don't know. I might just take these out. I mean, I have a whole ton more. If I ever wanted to put any more back in there, I could do that. But I don't think I do. <laughs> I don't think I want to do that. I think I just like to have this whole thing full of the succulents actually yeah I do think it'll look a lot nicer with just the succulents and nothing else in there it's just oh, I'm not a uh, a heat person I know these would stay gone longer if I got my little shovel and got them out by the root I just don't feel like dragging all that stuff out. Because <laughs> like I said, when it's hot, it sucks my energy, even though I didn't do anything. I haven't done much. Today, we did babysit for a little while while my son and daughter-in-law went, went and sang at church. And it didn't require that much energy. But I think it's just totally, like I said, I don't even think that had anything to do with it, honestly. It's just, when it's 80 degrees in your dining room, look at that. That was just laying there. See, I can take this 
and I can literally just stick it right there and it'll just start growing. <laughs> Very easy to grow. I got my first rude comment um, on my mm -hmm. urinal video. <laughs> <laughs> she said, this was incredibly boring. What are you thinking? <laughs> But my reaction was like, well, why did you watch it all the way through then? All those little tiny pieces of grass that are left, I'll just save till last. I'm just gonna get these out, even though they're flowers. I just, geez, I can always put more in here. They'll probably grow back though, even though I'm pulling them out. Cause they're the kind of thing that just take over. I think they're called Lily of the Valley or something. I have a lot of them, so I don't really need these. Because I think I like you without them. Without them, That ground cover was trying to climb right up this. There. Well, there's a lot of grass over here on this side. Okay. So I just hid that user from my channel because I thought, well, that wasn't very nice. And I heard from Mac from Midwest Magic Cleaning, <clears throat> he told me that, well, he didn't tell me specifically, but he said if you hide them, they can still comment and they don't know they're hidden, but no one will see their comment. <laughs> I think my husband is sad because I don't want to eat junk food with him anymore. It's all he has to look forward to since he still has to work and then I'm already retired. He likes taking me out for dinner and buying me surprises and ice cream and pulling it out late at night while we're watching TV. And I just can't do it with him anymore. It's just getting too much for me. And since I quit, it has been one week now, and I have lost five pounds. So I'm going to have to continue not eating junk food with him. It's just so easy to just, especially ice cream when it's summertime and it's hot. But I just can't afford to keep, if I have to have surgery on my back, the last thing I need to do is be carrying around a bunch of extra weight because it'll be harder to heal harder to walk around and carry all that weight that's extra on me that I'm not used to so anyway my daughter-in-law is starting up a program on Monday I'll do it with her I think it's called lava I want to say she told me about it but anyway yeah, I didn't join, but it's always good to have someone that is also doing something at the same time you are for accountability purposes. That looks a lot better. See that? Okay, now what else do you think I should do? How about this area next? It's a little four-step pathway so that you can get from the driveway into the grass, mostly for um, my husband's lawnmower. But the weeds have grown in between, and that's supposed to just be ground cover, but you got these long things intruding. And even these cute little daisies aren't supposed to be there. Hmm. Cute as they are, they don't belong here. Here's a dandelion. Come on. Oh. This one might come up. Like, hmm. Does that count? So nice of her. Anyway, maybe that's what we could talk about. Who's your favorite YouTubers? <laughs> hmm. I know all my tiny tidy ladies. I love them. And we have a tiny tidy chat too. 
I never was in it, get in it very much, and I don't have my I don't have my notifications turned on most of the time, or I wouldn't get nothing done. But I do go in there sometimes, and it's fun. That's how you get a hold of Sunday Dawn through Instagram. Go to the helpful home, and then she will put you in the tiny tidy playlist if you want. But this specific collaboration is a thoughtful Thursday. Yeah, there's lots of clovers in here. Yeah, I mostly like watching cleaning channels. My favorite cleaning channels are, um, you know, I'm talking about clean for free channels, are um, Ari Katarina, Midwest Magic Cleaning, and um, Clean with Barbie, and Bonnie from A Beautiful Mess, and who else? I do like a lot of other ones too. There's a new one that just came out, but I can't remember the name. I think it's Fife. Fife Cleaning or something like that? I heard about that one from Mac from Midwest Magic Cleaning. He's super funny. If you've ever met a guy who likes to clean, not that one guy that Danielle likes to watch, uh, but the this one... He does the clean for freeze. And anyways, he's from Illinois. That's why it's Midwest Magic Cleaning. Anyway, he is so good about explaining people's issues and how and why they can let their house get so bad. And anyway, it's just really nice to watch. I think this will be my last section because this video is getting kind of long. So in summary, I have too many weeds. It's too hot outside. And I like watching cleaning channels. And I'm helping my husband because he has so much work and I don't want to eat junk food with him. And that's pretty much sums up my thoughts. Don't forget Thoughtful Thursday is a collaboration with joy from organized with joy and i do believe it's the th third thursday of every month she has a thoughtful thursday where if you got something on your mind and you want to join the collaboration and you just want to talk or clean and talk at the same time get your thoughts out something that's been weighing on you or that you've been thinking about or whatever you can join thoughtful thursday i have a link to joy's channel and the playlist in my description box below they're nice see now this one might come out like bonnie's because it's in the there's weed barrier after this car goes by i'll show you Okay, now listen. Listen. Ah, that was nothing. Okay, try this one. Ah! You gotta go watch Bonnie's video. Seriously, it's really good. I don't want to get slivers in my feet. Oh. Hey, girl. Look at that one. Mm-hmm. Here comes my husband. <sighs> Ugh. Whoa! Bonnie. My husband ruined the sound effects with the lawnmower, but look at these roots. He interrupted me to tell me that a purple plum fell off the tree. The plum tree. I don't know how long this, this is supposed to be. 
I think YouTubers that are in the same genre circles should have an annual conference, you know, where, like, you get, like, uh, one of those rooms, like, a, one of those hotel halls, sometimes people have wedding receptions there, or whatever, and then we could, like, stay at the same hotel, and have dinners, and talk about our channels, and share ideas and do set up collaboration ideas <clears throat> oh, let's go somewhere else got to find some shade people there's some shade right here but there's really nothing to weed over here and There's some little bit of shade right there, but I mean, I can't just weed that one patch. The whole thing needs to be weeded. And then, oh, it's hot. Sorry. I need to stop complaining. Um. Oh, McStevens. That's why I, I call my granddaughter McStevens. It's like a nickname. Stevens <laughs> They were calling hi papa but papa couldn't hear him because they were he was had the lawnmower going anyhow I think that's it for me because I hear her little voice and I just can't I just can't not say hi but anyway I love you guys I'll see you next time bye